Sunday morning around 10.40 and we're having coffee. Um, the coffee I'm having is the Starbucks Holiday Blend. Um, I thought that I might not like it because it's a medium roast and I like light roast, but it's actually really good. And I've been using my um, pumpkin spice creamer. Uh, I got this in the States because whenever I go to Plattsburgh or any of like the American towns like I can visit, um, they always have such good coffee mates and Tony, Michelle and I are going to be going to the States soon. Just, you know, check out Target and all stuff like that. But this, when you use this sort of like pumpkin spice, it doesn't taste pumpkin-y, but it is almost, it almost tastes like a little bit like um, a holiday spice. It's not quite like holiday spice, like... It's obviously a little bit sweeter, but like the spiciness. So I actually really like this. And yeah, so I know when I showed the, the pumpkin spice creamer, people were asking, oh, where'd you get it? Um, honestly, if you wonder where I get something because you're Canadian, most of the time I get it whenever I go to the US. Um, just because the US is like maybe a bit like an hour and a half away. So Michelle and I like to go, Tony and I like to go, so we're probably going to go, oh, Tony's done school soon, so when we are done, when she's done, we'll probably go. Let me try it to see. Perfect. We have to run to Walmart to get um, some groceries, and I'm making cookies because we're going over to Mike's mom's later. I got a sample of this at Sephora when I went on Friday, and I tried it last night with Mike because he wanted to try it and I wanted to try it. And oh my god, our skin both felt so good afterwards. So I'm going to keep trying out this sample, but I think I might go get this because it makes my skin feel so nice. So we're at the Keeper and they have all these like, it's like, this is like a, a work boot place. I don't know, like they have jackets and stuff. But they have all this like Christmas stuff and I want to get this and it's 25% off. How much is it normally? It's normally 20 bucks, so it'll be like 15. But I, ha I always collect spare change and this tells you how much there is in there. I'm going to ask Mike what he thinks. Well, they have vintage games, insulated. That's cute, fog free shower. That's cute, they have really cute stuff. But they have like shoes and stuff. Mike needed to work boots or something. I don't know where he is. Oh, there you are. Look, look what I'm getting. Do you think this will be good? They don't have Do you think this will be good? Yeah. I'm gonna get it. It's 25% off. This is what I need, but black. They have them everywhere but here. Like at other leaky Press? No, like other Uh, stores. Are those them? No. I'm gonna have to ask. Well, I don't need winter boots because I have my Ugg boots, um, my Ugg Adirondack boots. Let's see, those were like $300. But I've, this is going to be my third winter wearing them, so it's definitely like, they're very long lasting. But my mom loves Sorel boots for some reason. Even though apparently the ones I bought her last year she didn't like. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god, look how nice these shoes are. Yeah, they're very important. What are they? They slip on your boots. Oh, it's not just like a big shoe. No. Oh, okay. They slip on your boots and stuff. Do you ever wear them? I need to ask my mom where my Ugg boots are. We're at Walmart and we have a dinner at Mike's mom's house. <laughs> and I want to get him either this shirt or this one to wear. I just think it's funny. He's been really... Oh, there you are. Babe, what do you think of this for tonight? Yeah. <laughs> or this one. Yeah. Do you like that? It's a stormtrooper. Yeah. Look, this is this one. And then No, I'm serious. Which one would you would you wear this red one? No. No? It's too risque for you. We just got home. It's a really beautiful day, so I have a lot of the windows open. Um, and I'm just gonna start making the cookies. I got this plate at Walmart because it was really nice and I don't know, I like to bring things on nice plates when I bring stuff, and this is like really, like ruby red slippers. Double A batteries. It's double A or triple A? Double A. Are you sure? It's only if it's two. But I think it's it. Oh, double A. I don't have anything with double A. No, those are triple A. AC then. 
Oh. This is some bread that I got for Mike whenever he wants a grilled cheese. The molasses for the cookies. I have ground cinnamon. I just don't know where it is, but I figure you can never have too much cinnamon. So ground cinnamon. Can you get the uh, mixer out of there? Um, Crisco, which is shortening. I got some milk because I was out of milk, and then this is just this. Then I just got flour. I still have flour, but I wanted to get more because I know with the holidays I'll be baking way more sugar because I got this big thing because like it just made more sense price wise to get this because of the like this one is two kilograms and it's really not that more than the one kilogram one so I was like even though I don't really eat white sugar for baking it's good to have um a, a ziploc I hope these are the big ones yeah big ziplocs with the holiday stuff um I sometimes I need big ziplocs so I decided to get the festive ones and then for the cookies I also need ground clove and ground ginger so I got those two and duct tape for something <laughs> uh, my blinds in my room I need to get new ones but um they fell so we're gonna be super ghetto and like tape it up until um we can measure what I need and then now I'm just gonna start making the cookies measure up the ingredients and start making the cookies so I didn't have tin foil or plastic wrap so I put the cookies in the ziploc good thing I bought the ziplocs and yeah, I bought the Ziplocs. You put the okay, you put the cookies in the Ziplocs, and I have the little plate, and then the bracelet I'm wearing today is the Large Mermaid Under the Sea, and just like, I, like in the pictures, like it's really hard to capture how pretty they are, but like look at this stone, like this blue stone, how multi-dimensional it is. Like it's blue, but there's like pink fire within it. Like when the sun hits it, it's so beautiful. Like I never even noticed like that blue, I don't know, it just looks like it's blue flame, like pink flames inside. It's amazing. So dinner was really good. It's around 8.45 and Mike and I went to the grocery store. I'll show you guys what I bought. But um, if you remember from a few vlogs a few weeks ago, um, I made this chicken leek pie and I went to Walmart and they didn't let you buy leeks separately. So I ended up buying like this huge thing of leeks for like five something and I'm so, like that's, Especially since I know leeks are really good in like soups and I'm just trying to get them all dry before I'm not just playing with food like for no reason. I'm trying to get as much them to be as dry as possible. But um, so I had a lot of leeks and they were taking up a lot of space in my fridge and I wasn't sure if I was going to, you know, make the pie again. I will soon because I know you guys want the recipe. Um, so I decide clean them, um, which cleaning a leek, you have to cut it. It's a little bit of a process so I will link a video whenever I do decide to do it because I learned on YouTube but um, I cleaned them chopped them and now I am just trying to dry them off um, I'm gonna stick them in the well I'm gonna stick this batch like this tray in the freezer for like a, a, a quick freeze and then I'm gonna put them in plastic bags and then I think I'm just gonna keep this in my fridge for anything I decide to make this week since, I don't know, I don't need that. Mm. I mean, how much can I fit in a bag? Uh, I'll try and get as much as I can onto this tray. Um, but yeah, this way when I do make the pie, I don't have to buy the leeks, they're already cut. Did I have a list there? <laughs> they're, already, they're already cut. And so I'm doing that and I'm cleaning my kitchen. Um, in the fridge, I kind of cleaned it a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I went to Pravigo and like you guys told me, they do have the Matt and Steve's Extreme Bean. They also had their olives, which you guys know, I don't really like jarred olives, um, but they did sound really good, so maybe I'll get them. And they also have the garlic and dill flavor, but I love the spicy. And then I just replenished some of my water. Silver Black Cherry, this is one of my favorites. It's Nestle Pure Life sparkling mango peach pineapple this is so good and then i got my olives because i love olives everyone in my life pretty much loves olives and i like to get them from the olive bar not like in brine and then i'm really craving fruit so i got strawberries a ton of clementines because they're in season um, a mango blueberries strawberries and then i also i also got some more rice but other than that, I didn't get anything. Um, but yeah, I'm happy because I've been really craving fruit. So I wanted to get some of that. So I'm going to go ahead, finish up my leeks. And that's that. Good morning, guys. So today's Monday. And I have to go to the gym. But 
without giving away too much. Ugh, you can't even really see how much it's snowing. Um, I don't want to give away like. Okay, well, I don't know if you can see here. You can't even see, but it's a ton of snow. Um, I thought I would be able to make it, but it was just, I'm getting my winter tires on tomorrow and I just wasn't safe. I barely made it to the gas station and I was just like, I'd rather pay the gym session and pay for a deductible for my, for if I got into an accident. So I'm back home now. I was even prepared. Like I wore my leggings. I had my winter coat on. I wore Uggs. Like I was ready, but not meant to be. I wanted to go to Michael's today to get um, some big mason jars to put my oats and my flour in, um, but I'm going to wait until a little later in the day. It's 10 o'clock now, so I'm going to wait until a little bit later in, into the day for hopefully the roads to get better, or Michelle's going to come over after and he has winter tires already, so we'll just, you know, take his car. Um, but since it's really chilly, I'm going to have a cup of tea. Isn't this little tea break thing really cute? My mom got this for me from Winners. We went one time and I saw it. I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. She got it for me. These are just Tetley tea bags. Um, ever since I was little, my grandpa and my mom always drank tea. Like instead of coffee, it was always tea. And it's just like my favorite. It's like the most comforting thing to drink. So it's just the Orange Pico Tetley. Tetley is my favorite. I don't like Salada or any other brand of really black tea. This is my favorite, Orange Pico. So... I just have to do that. It's so annoying on the carrot how the only hot water dispenser options are like four and six. Like, where's the 10? Where's the 10 ounce option? Because I have to do like two um, six ounces. I filled up the water last night though, so that was good. Um, I cleaned my kitchen last night, so I think today I have to do laundry and I wanted to clean the bathroom, so I'm gonna do that. See, I have to do a whole nother six thing. And then what I'll do sometimes is I'll take it up once it's not completely done and then um, use the hot water to clean the bottom. I just cleaned it last night. Like I put, um, I just cleaned it last night, but underneath too. I'll get a little spoon or a big spoon. I like to eat with the little spoons. So then I'll put my stevia in and some milk is done I also wanted to film a video today and I think today would be a good day to film because um, when it's sunny and I'm filming against this wall the the rays shine through like through the blinds so I think it'll be a good day to film so I'll probably film later maybe the Q&A that I asked on Instagram but I'm gonna enjoy my tea right now probably watch American Horror Story for a little so it's now Monday night around 8 and I'm hungry. It's one of those nights where it's weird. I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry. And I didn't know what to make, but I wanted to make my <laughs> meatless Mondays. Um, I actually didn't eat meat today, so accurate. I have these and it comes with the sauce. I had these years ago. I don't remember how I ate them because my the, the girl I, was, I, I used to be friends with, she got me onto these. But, um... The it's crispy chicken and don't they look like McDonald's chicken nuggets? I find they really look like McDonald's chicken nuggets. So I, I have them on my baking rack. You guys know I like to put things on baking racks so that way they don't get like mushy at the bottom. I like just keep it like circulating. And it comes with a mandarin orange sauce. So I don't know if I'm gonna use this or um my teriyaki sauce, but yeah, I'm probably gonna have it with some rice and I'm gonna saute up some vegetables and that's gonna be my dinner. So I have the crispy chicken um, ready to be cut and I took them out and I tasted one and guys, it actually tastes like real chicken. So I would totally eat these in place of chicken nuggets. So not going vegan, but I mean, why not spice it up sometimes? And honestly, I really feel like if I gave these to Mike and said, hey babe, eat these chicken nuggets, I don't think he would notice. So I'm going to cut them up, put them in the pan with the vegetables, saute them, put it over some rice. I just have some basmati rice and that is dinner. So once again, dinner is served. Just the crispy chicken, mandarin, mandarin orange with basmati rice. It tastes really like, it actually tastes amazing. Like this, I think anyone would like this. If you like Chinese food, you'd really like this. Um, it has a really good sesame flavor and I would honestly eat these as chicken nuggets. So 
I would recommend for sure. Guys, I actually got some calling cards. I'm so excited when I opened my P.O. box and saw these. I had the biggest smile on my face. So I don't know if I'm going to show you what's on the inside, but I just already opened them so it'd be easier to go through them. And until I write back to everyone, I'm going to keep them in the envelopes if there's a return address. Um, just so I can send you one back and I'm so excited. Okay, so let's open them up. This one is, I believe, from Shell. Oh my goodness, look at all these cats in their little hats. Okay, that is so cute. I'm not going to read them on camera because I don't know what you guys are including in it. This one is from, wait, no, this one is not from Shelby. The cat one is not from Shelby. The cat one is from Allison in California. So, yay, this one is from Shelby. And let's see what she, oh, this is a big old card. Oh my goodness, I love these cards. I think, did you get them at Michael's? I look at them every time I'm at Michael's. So they're Celebrate. And I'm gonna read them after, um, just so, oh my goodness. It's the best time of the year. How cute is this card? And this card is from Stephanie in BC. So I'm gonna go ahead and read these. And I'm so excited. I think I wanna get like maybe on this wall, I'm gonna get like string and like I'll hang the cards. I think I might do that. I think that's gonna be really fun. I'm so excited. I'm gonna read them now. Oh my God, guys, I actually have tears in my eyes because of the messages you guys are writing to me. I just wanted to show this part from Allison. She says, well, she said with love from Allie in Southern California. But um, she said, she wrote to say hi to Tony and say hi to Mike and Michelle also. And honestly, I'm gonna turn the card around. Honestly, like, I don't, I'm not an emotional person, but reading your eyes' messages are, are so heartwarming. And like, I'm so happy that we decided to do this. So these cards are so special. I'm getting like emotional, so I don't know why, but um, it just really means a lot to me. So thank you guys all so much for sending your cards. I'm gonna write these cards and I'll probably send them out once a week, probably like every Friday I'll send out the cards. Um, but I am so excited to receive more cards and just get to know you all better. Shelby, thank you so much for this. It is very much appreciated because I seem to be running on caffeine lately. So I'm definitely going to enjoy a few holiday spice flat whites on this. But you, thank you so much. My first three cards, I'm so happy. You guys don't even know. So now I have this box from, I believe, it's my P.O. box address, that's why I'm not like freaking out if I show you. I believe this is from Bioderma, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh my goodness, I think I opened it up the wrong way. Oh my god, okay, so I remember when these first started becoming super popular on YouTube, I remember going to Pharmapri and finding it, and at the time, this was like hot, a hot commodity, like... The fact that Canadians had this and Americans didn't on YouTube, it was like a big deal. This is their micellar water. I think this is, no, this is for sensitive skin, but this is like the original one. I've never tried this one. The, this is for sensitive dehydrated skin. And then, ooh, what is this? Okay, cool. Purifying cleansing gel. That's cool. Let's see what this is. Oh. A cream that's actually really handy I'm always you know trying to use new creams this is creamy skincare and bioderma I actually do have pretty dry skin right now but bioderma is it's very like lightweight and moisturizing so what are these okay so this is for matte this is matte control pore refiner I don't know what this is I have to look that up. I think that's it. Is there anything else in here? Is there like a card? I don't want to like miss it. I opened it upside down. Okay, dear Allie, here are some products for you to try. Hope you will like them. Best Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Today is actually Monday. I know the vlogs are all mixed up because I had some vlogs from last week. Honestly, I was too excited not to share with you my cards. So again, thank you from the bottom of, the, of my heart for making me so happy today. During October, I didn't miss a day. I did a full 31 days. But sometimes it's hard for me on weekends because Mike and I do a lot of things together and Mike doesn't love being on camera. So when I decided to do Vlogmas, I decided I would guarantee 100% do five videos a week with maybe some bonus videos on the weekends. So far, I haven't missed a day. So far, I've done all six days. If a video doesn't go up, 
one day on a Saturday or a Sunday, I'm not failing or slacking. I said from the very start, guaranteed, Monday through Friday with maybe some extra videos thrown in, which I did on Saturday and Sunday this, this past week. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know where video, let me know what videos you like to see during Vlogmas, specifically sit down videos because I can't wait to film them tomorrow. Um, also, don't forget to add me on Snapchat. I've been super active on Snapchat and I also do like exclusive little segments every day that you will only see on Snapchat. So be sure to follow me on Snapchat and I know with all the crazy YouTube changes right now, just make sure that you're subscribed, um, not only to my channel, but to your favorite YouTubers channels, because I know that YouTube has been having these glitches where people are getting, are getting unsubscribed and a lot of YouTubers are frustrated. I'm trying to get the full story before I, you know, talk about it, but just make sure you're subscribed to your favorite YouTubers and watching your favorite YouTubers, um, so that they don't feel the effects of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you all so much for watching and be sure to send me your holiday card so I can send you one back. Bye.